Hi guys, my name is Chase from Roundabout. Today we're going to do a little RV upgrade. We're going to install this RV lock onto our camper so we don't have to carry a key anymore. So follow me, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is our RV lock that we got off of Amazon. We are going to install it. It should take about 10 minutes. This is not a sponsored post. This is just a little upgrade that we wanted to do. First step you're going to do is just open your RV door. We are going to be taking the four screws out of the back of our RV latch. After that, we'll be taking off this latch plate. After all your screws are out, you just pull your handle right off. Our next step is to unscrew and remove the latch plate. I think this just comes right off. Mm -hmm. Okay, next step is to take the whole RV latch out of the hole. All right, let's put the new handle in. We're gonna put the cords towards the front. That way they don't get pinched in the side. We're gonna angle it in a little bit. Perfect fit. All right, now it's time to put the latch plate. you have to plug in these two pieces and they will fit just like a little puzzle and it just beeped make sure all this is tucked in here somehow so after you get it on you need to line up the little screw holes with the holes that are on the inside so we're just putting all of the screws in first before tightening so the hardest part is getting all the holes directly lined up. Now we are going to tighten. It definitely helps a lot having two people. So we just tried to shut our door and with this little piece that's still on here, we couldn't get it to shut. So we did have to take this off for now and without it, the door is shutting. The default code is one, two, three, four. So we're gonna enter programming stage. So what you have to do is hit the eight first and then the lock. You hear your beep, so then you enter your default code. One, two, three, four, lock. So then we're going to enter our new code. We're just gonna do two, 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 lock. One more time, two, 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 lock. So that was a nice long beep, so we're gonna think it works, so we're gonna do it again and try unlocking. One, two, three, four, unlock. So it unlocked it, so that is our new code. Now that we have programmed our keypad, we are going to program our fob. So first step is turn the switch from off to on, and then there's a fob learn button and a code reset. We are going to just tap in the fob learn, and then after we hit this, once it starts beeping, we will start to hit the lock button on our fob. Hitting lock. Hitting unlock. 
so it worked. Just gonna lock it. done it only took about 10 minutes we do recommend maybe having an extra pair of hands just to hold this back plate steady so whenever you're putting the screws in you're able to line them up uh, the other problem we ran into was this door jam the strike plate was a little bit low so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of modification on that but that's really no big deal at all so thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below